What's up everybody? BD here. I'm at the uh, Disneyland Paris's Hotel New York, the Art of Marvel Hotel. Super, super psyched. I've been inside already. This is just a video intro that I'm filming after I've explored everything. I got a 900 foot Iron Man behind me and I think we just need to go inside and see this place because it has blown my mind and I want to give everybody a full tour. Please subscribe to the Phase VR YouTube channel so we can keep doing cool stuff like this. Hit the thumbs up on this video and let's go explore it. This is incredible. We did not actually rent the whole place out. It's not usually this quiet. It's just like two in the morning. I waited till everybody went to sleep so I wouldn't be disrupting anybody to come film a video. I wanted to show everybody what's going on here. And I mean, it's just like, it's a lot to take in. First of all, if you look around, literally everything is Marvel. From the Iron Man suits, to the illustrations on the wall, to the Alex Ross art you got up top, to over here when you go check in, you have the illustrations and the artist like close up videos of the art being made, and they cover the top with Spider-Man art. The skyline bar on the side is incredible. They have like arc reactors in the ceiling. They have actually like Avengers Tower on the screen back there. Iron Man, Spider-Man, the Quinjet will all come visit. It's unbelievable. We're gonna go there. That's gonna be the last stop in the hotel. Uh, but first, we gotta start with the Iron Man suits. So you got the Midas suit, the Mark 11 on the right. I don't think Tony ever wore that in the movies, but it was like in his Hall of Armor in Iron Man 3. The Mark, I wanna say 45. I'm pretty sure that's like the suit he wears in the Hulkbuster suit in Avengers Age of Ultron. And then the Mark 2 or Mark 3, the one that Rhodey wears in Iron Man 2. These things look incredible close up. If you go down there, you got the Bleecker Street bar. It's really cool. So obviously that's all Doctor Strange theme. It's just another hangout bar area. It's got like a big Doctor Strange painting in it. Over here is the New York boutique. It's all gifts and souvenirs and all kinds of stuff. You can find some exclusive uh, Art of Marvel Hotel merch in there. There's some really cool like Hasbro Legend stuff in there. It is marked up a little bit, I'm not gonna lie to you. So I don't think I'm gonna be taking anything home today, but like between the Spider-Man head, the uh, the Iron Man helmet, the Stormbreaker, like, there's some really cool stuff in there. And I am definitely gonna leave actually with uh, maybe some Mickey ears because they have the Scarlet Witch ones. So overall, I mean, listen, this is just when you first walk in. And I, if you saw me when I first walked in, I was like gobsmacked, as Benedict Cumberbatch would say. The wall of Doctor Strange is carved into the wall and the light brings them out. You got Captain Marvel right here. You got Captain America over there. You got Black Widow. Like the Avengers are everywhere. This is as marvelous as it gets and you know I love it. Okay, so now when you go towards your room, they have Alex Ross art at the end of the hallway by the elevators. That's cool! New York Boutique, on your right. We're doing the full tour. We're doing the full tour real quick because I figured y'all might want to see this. It's not cheap to stay here and I'm very happy to be here. Okay, so Ryan Minerding did that Captain America art. Ryan Minerding is one of the genius artists behind Marvel Studios. So you have a lot of comic stuff and a lot of movie stuff both in the hotel. As you saw the Iron Man suits from the movies, you saw comic images, and now you have Ryan Minerding's cap art. That's a Chris Evans design. Guardians of the Galaxy art, obviously from the movies. I would assume that's Andy Park. I'm pretty sure he did the concept on that. Oh yeah, Andy Park's little signature is on there. So that's Andy Park. You got Iron Studios figures. Like, I don't know if this stuff is all in the gift shop, but the Iron Studios figures are really cool. I love all this stuff, so it's all right up my alley. We're gonna keep moving. As an MCU fan, I love the comics, but obviously I love the MCU. The Quinjet thing, like this is like a blueprint for the Quinjet. It's a big piece of art that you could hang up on the wall. It's like a plaque, 70 euro. It's like $75 about. That's really cool. I mean, Spider-Man art up top, Avengers Campus, like concept art down here. You got Sam Wilson, Captain America on the side, Flight Force, which is the ride here at Disneyland Paris, which I haven't had the chance to experience yet. So it's all, I mean, it, it's, it's pretty dope when you can go over here and take a picture on a comic book cover. I am now a classic Avenger on a classic Avengers comic book cover, okay? And I just want to know who won Avengers Tower? I'm trying to 
trying to find out. Down here, Eternals number one. I bought that issue at Comic Con in like 2019. They have all kinds of classic comic covers printed, all kinds of art. They have like a Jack Kirby exhibit in here. Uh, but over here, you have concept art for the parks. We are in France right now. We're at the Paris Disneyland, but they still have concept art for like Disneyland in California with the Avengers Campus. Uh, you see the web technology with Spider Man. So there's just this is the kind of stuff you see like at D23. But now it's out in the world, which is really cool. Down at the end is the superhero station. And when you go in there, you get to like take selfies with a superhero who's just, you know, whichever one you get. I don't know how they're picked. You have to make an appointment. I haven't made an appointment, so I'm not gonna meet any superheroes at the hotel, unfortunately. So let's go see what the rooms look like. Alright, wanna see something really cool? No. Oh! <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, there's music and everything! Oh, this is amazing. Mind you, this is the mirror. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, cool. Concept art for all the characters. This is awesome. Mm. Dun, 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 dun. The whole hotel just plays remixes of the Avengers song. For dinner, it was the downtown restaurant. This is located on one of the wings of the hotel on the first floor. Everything in here is just as Marvel themed as everything else. The placemat had the same Marvel art that you saw on that folder in the hotel room a moment ago. The walls were covered with illustrations of characters. These were setups uh, all around the place and each one had different characters on it. It was a buffet style place and the food was pretty good. It's a little expensive, but then you see these desserts. It's like a Thor hammer that's ice cream with a chocolate handle and a Captain America shield yogurt. And you're like, okay, well, I guess you're getting what you pay for. But the Skyline Bar was really the showstopper for me. I spent a lot of time and money here because I was waiting to see Iron Man fly up. He flies up periodically and there he is and he flies off periodically right onto another window, if you will. So it's just really cool to be immersed in the Marvel Cinematic Universe like this. Their drink menu had six drinks, each themed after one of the Infinity Stones. You can see reality and soul on the menu. So I had to try all six of them, taste the powers, taste the colors of the Infinity Stones with the first ever uh, phase zero drink slash food review. Very drinkable. We got the reality stone. Stronger. Space stone, space stone. Where are we teleporting to? 
Ooh, that's not taking me anywhere I want to go. Power stones? Purple power stone. Hmm. Spider-Man. Look at Spidey. He's gone. He's gone. The power stone is delicious. Power stone's a, an eight, an eight, nine out of ten, delicious. Time stone. This one's very cucumbery because time naturally has one big cucumber. Is this the soul stone? <laughs> soul stone. Sorry, little one. Okay, I watched her burn the top of this whipped cream, which was awesome. It tastes delicious. It's strong. This is this might be the strongest drink overall. The Power Stone and the Mind Stone get the biggest W's for me. Overall, Disney's Hotel New York, The Art of Marvel, is simply incredible as a Marvel fan. There's so much to see and experience and just feel like you're a part of. And I really enjoyed my time there. I am never going to forget the feeling of walking in and being completely astonished by how marvelous it truly was. If you're in Paris, if you're going to Disneyland Paris, highly recommend checking this place out. Really, really enjoyed myself and hope I get to go back one day. None of this video even included the fact that there is Avengers Campus at Disneyland Paris just a walk away. So there's still even more you can do as a Marvel fan. It was a really cool experience and I'm grateful for it. If you want more content like this, let us know in the comments and subscribe to Phase Zero.